Today, we're taking a look at wheel pulleys, how to install them, and what to look for before you buy. What's up guys, welcome back to another electric skateboard video. My name is Mike Beard. I've built a ton of electric skateboards in the last few years and now I am kind of passing on that information on to you guys. Today we're looking at pulleys. Uh, unless you are planning on building a board with hub motors, you're going to need some kind of wheel pulley. Um, all belt driven boards need a wheel pulley, they need a motor pulley, and today we're specifically looking at the wheel pulleys. Wheel pulleys are pretty simple, but there are a couple different things that you should double check and look at before you buy one. Um, the four main things are teeth count, pulley width, style orientation, and gearing type. The pulleys we're looking at today have 36 teeth on them, so if you were to start somewhere on the circle and count all the way around, you'd count 36 teeth. Um, this becomes important when we start deciding our gearing ratio. Um, gearing ratio really deserves its own video, but as a general rule of thumb, 36 teeth on your wheel pulley and 16 teeth on your motor pulley really gives you a nice ride, plenty of speed and plenty of torque. So because 15 millimeter wide belts are pretty much the standard nowadays, you definitely want a pulley that's also 15 millimeters wide. Um, a lot of different pulleys that you see out there might be 9 millimeters wide, might be 12 millimeters wide, but if you want to take full advantage of these stronger 15 millimeter belts, you're going to want to get a pulley that will be able to handle the 15 millimeter belts without any of your belt hanging off. That's definitely, you don't want a 12 mil millimeter wide pulley and a 15 millimeter wide belt. It's just not going to fit properly. So whatever belt you decide, make sure that your pulley and your belt are the same width. Spoke orientation is super important as well. Most versions of pulleys, they'll have an ABEX style version and an orangutan style version. That way you can pair up the pulley to the proper style wheel you have. Um, if you have ABEX style wheels, you'll use the ABEX uh, pulley. And if you have orangutan wheels, you'll use the orangutan style pulley. Now the only real difference between the two pulleys is the way that the screws are laid out on the pulley itself. That way the screw can pass through the core of the wheel without hitting any of the spokes. Um, it just kind of makes it easier on everyone and prevents you from having to drill through your wheels, all that kind of stuff. So if you're using ABEC wheels, get the proper version. If you're using ring and tang wheels, get the ring and tang version. Super simple, but if you don't pay attention when you're buying, you might buy the wrong one and it's not gonna work for you. The last thing to keep in mind is the gearing type. Uh, to keep things simple, just look for pulleys that are compatible with 5M belts. Um, that's the, basically the standard for all DIY electric skateboard parts. While a lot of pre-made boards like Boost Board will use 3M belts and they are not compatible, the belts, the pulleys, none of that is compatible with traditional DIY electric skateboard stuff. So just keep that in mind, try to get everything 5M so everything works together properly. So the installation process couldn't be easier. Everything comes included in a bag just like this. By the way, for this video, we're gonna be using the orangutan style, but the exact same steps apply for the ABEX style as well. So just keep that in mind. So inside the bag, you'll get the wheel pulley, the retainer cap, and the necessary bolts. And this kit actually comes with a motor pulley and a belt. And now if you don't want the motor pulley or the belt, you wanna customize it a little different, you can just get the wheel pulley separately. For the installation process, you are gonna need a little set of metric Allen keys, and then we recommend using some thread locker to keep everything really nice and tight. So simply line up the wheel pulley with the holes in the wheel, take the retainer cap and line up those holes uh, with the holes in the wheel as well on the other side, and then take each bolt and slide it through the retainer cap and into the threaded um, holes of the wheel pulley, and then you can screw all those down with the Allen key set. So vibrations tend to loosen a lot of different bolts on electric skateboards, so if you use a little bit of thread locker on each bolt before you install them into your wheel pulley, it'll kind of just keep everything super tight and it'll prevent your screws from vibrating out while you're riding. And that's it, your wheel pulley has been installed, it's all done, totally ready to go, you don't have to do anything else, um, just throw it on the axle of your wheel, um, get it to line up with your motor mount and you're ready to go. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. We're very active down there. We answer as many questions as we can. All the products you've seen today are in the description below. All the links to everything, the wheels, the pulleys, all that in the description below. So if you have any questions about any of those things, a lot of the details are in the descriptions of all those products. So again, subscribe if you're new here. Uh, we do a lot of different electric skateboard tutorials and we have a lot more coming. So thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.